Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have arrived back in the UK for a whirlwind tour shortly after an in-depth interview stoked tensions between the estranged couple and the royal family. The royal couple who are now living in the US had confirmed a visit to the United Kingdom was on the cards this month. A spokesman previously said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would be returning temporarily to see several charities close to their hearts. According to Hello, the couple were seen driving earlier today with a picture of Prince Harry in the driver's seat. It is not known how long their visit will last. Harry and Meghan will appear at events in London and Manchester, as well as jetting off to Germany to mark the one-year countdown to the Invictus Games. There are no plans for them to meet with William and Kate, despite staying just a few hundred feet away from them. They had been expected to arrive as soon as today and, and use their Windsor home, Frogmore Cottage, as a base, but their arrival date and time had not been confirmed. It is not known if they will visit the Queen in Balmoral, but it is thought unlikely they will bring their children Archie and Lily on the working trip. Following the breakdown of relationships between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family, it is understood that there are no plans for them to make the short 380 feet trip to Adelaide Cottage for the brothers to reunite. Royal sources suggest there are fears the couple may bring a film crew along to the UK as part of their rumored dollar 100 million Netflix deal. Trust, particularly at the moment, is a big issue, a well-placed source said. Another said, I really can't see any progress in repairing their relationship until the documentary and book have come out and they see what he has to say. The family have everything to lose and nothing to gain. William is deeply hurt and believes his brother has crossed a line. They will head to Manchester on Monday for the One Young World Summit, an event which brings together young leaders from more than 190 countries. Meghan, a counselor for the organization, will give the keynote address at the opening ceremony. They will also meet a group of summit delegates doing outstanding work on gender equality, one young world said. The couple will then head to Dusseldorf on Tuesday for the Invictus Games 2023 One Year to Go event, before returning to the UK for the Well Child Awards in London, where Harry will deliver a speech on Thursday. There are no public plans for the couple on Wednesday meaning any potential meeting with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge or any family member could be held on that day. But I don't think they can meet Queen as the 96-year-old who has faced ongoing mobility issues, traditionally holds audiences with outgoing and incoming premieres at Buckingham Palace. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.